good morning from golf heaven. Now, we are in what golf superintendents call the southeast sector. We're talking parts of Texas, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, places where golf is big business, but also a lifestyle. So is the heat. And that, of course, can drain resources. But data shows that more than 25% of courses in this region are now starting to use more recycled water, trying to go green to save some green. The crisp sound of a perfect tee shot in golf, a sport that players mostly love. Oh, yeah. But sometimes loathe. Why didn't you just go home? That's your home. Getting the ball from the tee box to the green in as few strokes as possible hasn't changed much, but keeping that green playable is evolving. Is, is the golf course of 30 years ago the same as the golf course now? No, definitely not, especially when you're talking technology. Uh, we're able to monitor how much water in the, in the soil, in the greens, the temperatures. Landon Lindsay is the director of agronomy at the Nelson Golf and Sport Club in Las Colinas, Texas, outside of Dallas. We've almost doubled the amount of our, our naturalized areas. We're increasing our usage of, of more organic products. But that's just us knowing that that's the right, right thing to do. The right thing for the course included introducing honeybees to help with pollination, more pinpoint watering for the foliage, and introducing drought-resistant plants. This is not going to need as much water as a rose bush. Absolutely not. Water is the lifeline for golf courses, but with growing droughts, more greens are relying on recycled water. Nationally, recycled water makes up about 21% of all the golf course water use. That means courses like this one can stay open and green deep in the heart of Texas. Across the 36 holes at TPC Las Colinas, the courses average around 165 million gallons of water a year how much reclaimed or recycled water you do use here on the courses. So in the in the course of a year, both golf courses are 100% uh, recycled water. 100%? 100%. That's the our only source on the golf courses. Even with the cost of recycled water roughly half the price of drinkable water, courses still keep track of every drop. We've actually gone from measuring the water in the air to moisture sensors in the soil. Yeah. And that's proven that turf can get by with you know, less than half of what they used to think. Jeff Bauer is part of the American Society of Golf Course Architects. He's noticing a trend on courses across the country. Sustainability. Yeah, you know, there was a time when those would just get piped. Yeah. And, you know, we just avoid the natural creek beds, the wetlands, the, the great tree masses. We, we try to route the course to avoid all of it. So back in the day, they would just dump water into the creeks and when they were done with it or, or, or funnel it all off in there. Yeah. Now, I mean, now you're trying to catch it. Yeah. With temperatures rising, the $102 billion golf industry is adapting to the new environmental reality. You obviously have, you know, your tea right. box here but here it's not going to be as much. And then here you just have granite. Yeah. So you, you don't have to water these two, right. but less to water, it still looks, still looks good and still playable. Yeah. Best practices have been established in all 50 states, providing blueprints for managing pests while protecting pollinators and precious water supplies. A new set of golfers are driving the trend. The Gen Z you know, group, which seem to be taken to golf, uh, they ask about it in the clubhouse. So it does seem to help your public image. It helps your financial stability and sustainability. For greenskeepers, the idea is to care for the course and give golfers a chance to make and see a few birdies. The basic here is a natural element modified slightly you know, for the playing of golf. But we're here to protect as much nature as we can. Recycled water use, of course, is the goal, but so is using less water. I mean, golf courses are realizing that th they can't look like Augusta National. It's just not possible. But golf superintendent data shows that, which is good, that water use has actually been trending down on golf courses since 2005. It is really interesting. And it is, uh, Omar, I was going to say, they admit at Augusta National. I mean, this is what they're there for. They don't play the course year round. That's mm -hmm. part of how you're able to mm -hmm. keep it looking like that. And that is a part of who they are. So it's a different yep. story there. Yep. And they're getting smarter about how they use yeah. the water, right? So they're more efficient mm -hmm. with it, too. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah, Omar, we nothing are, is we, wasted. We, nothing is wasted. 
we, we are still jealous, so enjoy all the action today and tomorrow. Have fun, yeah. And our coverage of the Masters does begin today at 3 Eastern. Final round coverage tomorrow at 2 Eastern, all right here on CBS and, of course, streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Watch out for Tiger. Love it whenever Watch he Watch out asks. for Tiger, hey. but I think tough to bet against Scotty Scheffler. No doubt, no doubt, but... You know, Wouldn't it be great if, though, he just came behind and just took it? We got... The predictions are in. <laughs> all right.